Okay. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. Oh, evening. Yeah, of course. Good evening. <laughs> And hello to everyone watching the replay. So welcome to Rising Tide. Let's see, I'm just going to share my screen. Uh, Open Studio, welcome to Open Studio. Open Studio is a part of the Rising Tide um, on my Substack. And today's session is a slow sketch, even though we've got a couple of fast warm up sketches at the beginning, just to get us into the mood and to get us warmed up. So. Open Studio. Today's topic is Light My Way. We're painting lighthouses or drawing or sketching lighthouses. So it's a 90-minute session and it includes a 15-minute sharing session at the end. Uh, please note that this session is being recorded and it will be made public. I'll put a replay up on my YouTube channel and on my Substack, The Studio Diaries. So it's lovely when we talk about art. Sometimes we do talk about other personal things as well, but we try to keep the conversation about art. It's a bit it's a bit hard. We love talking. <laughs> if you've got anything that you'd like to share in the chat, like maybe some of your personal links or just say something to each other, just use the chat in Zoom. So we're going to be drawing and painting from reference images that are set to a timer today. About halfway through, it's a little bit longer than halfway through, we'll have a sip and stretch break for five minutes. That's where we just get to rotate our shoulders, stretch our hands and our wrists out and go and get a cup of tea if you like, but it, it only goes for five minutes. So there's no art rules. You can use whatever materials you've got. If you just want to use a biro, just use whatever you've got handy. So the other thing that we've just recently started doing is posting our work to the Facebook group. Currently we've got a Facebook group for the Studio Diaries and I'm going to get that up and share that in a minute to show you. As well as that, we also have the Substack chat thread, which is new to me. We just started it this week and it's quite an exciting place. You can post your photos, you can post videos, you can comment to each other. So if you're a subscriber to the Studio Diaries on Substack, then I'll show you that in a second and you can post your work there. And also at the end, during our sharing session, you could just hold your work up to the camera if you wanted to, and you don't have to post to the Facebook group or to the Substack chat thread. But if you want to, I can screen share that at the end. All right, so what I'm gonna quickly do now, I'm just gonna end the show temporarily. And then I wanted to show you, so my Substack, that's not what I wanted to show you. <laughs> this is my, this is the Studio Diaries on Substack. And if you go over, oh, you might, I might make it smaller so you can actually see where I'm going. If you see where, if you're on, if you've subscribed to anyone on Substack, you'll have a little profile. In the top right-hand corner, click the arrow down button, arrow down button, and you'll find chat. Now I can make it a bit bigger so that you can see it. On the left-hand side here, you'll see everyone that you've subscribed to and all the messages that they've put into the chat. Chat just goes to subscribers of the Substack publication that you're subscribed to. So these are the people that I'm subscribed to. And this is my chat that I recently started, had one for Art Club, which was on Wednesday night. And this one here is for Open Studio, for today's Open Studio. So each, each chat, oops, is a, it's like a thread and I've put something up about, just a reminder, you can put up to six photos in. So these are examples of the warm-up sketches that we're going to be doing today, like a continuous line, my opposite hand. I've used the same picture just to show some examples, some negative space drawing. And because I couldn't put any more than six pictures up, in the replies, I've actually put another one of what my studio space currently looked like, or that was yesterday when I was setting up. So you can put photos and images into that thread as well. You just hit the reply here and you can post a photo. You can find photos that you've already got ready to go if you wanted to post to the Substack chat. So yeah, it's a really nice way to build community in Substack. So that was, mm. um, that's Substack. The other place that we have is, if I can find it, here we go. <laughs> We've got a Facebook group, which I we were just talking before the recording that eventually I'd like to move this over to a Discord server because I think Discord has a lot of possibilities and a lot of room for improvement in a way that you can really organise the topics into different channels and it's a lovely community space. 
where you can post your work. So th currently this is what we've got at the moment. If you wanted to share your work in here and I can bring that up on screen at the end of the session. So speaking of the session, oh, secret. <laughs> How about, is everybody ready to start? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, I better get my timer ready. What materials are you guys working with today? Um, Simone, what are you working with? Um, I'm going to try Procreate since everybody, what everybody, Sam's been so successfully doing quick sketches and long sketches with, with Procreate, so I'm going to try that today. Yep, beautiful. Julie? I have got watercolours, pencil, pen, Karen Dash crayons, all the things. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> and Melissa, what are you working with today? Um, if we're going to start with the sketches, the quick sketches, I'm just going to use a red color pencil, I think, for that. Yeah. It feels like the thing. And then initially I grabbed my cheap dollar store paint sticks. So I don't even know what these are made of, but they're really fun to play with. But then I also have everything around me. So I think it may be a last minute decision when I see the reference photo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I've got um, some new watercolors, the Kuritake, the Ganzai mm. Tenzai ones. I uh, haven't really played with them very much. They're very opaque. So I'm, I'm going to, yeah, enjoy those. Colored pencils and watercolors. But I've also got a few other things around me too. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we might get started. I'm just going to start with paint and I've got the timer ready to go. And this is our first image. So, oops, um, there we go. Um, all right, I'm setting the timer ready to go. You get to choose whichever way you want to warm up here. And, whoops, I better. Um, you always think you're prepared, and then I realise I'm not as prepared as I thought I was. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that's good because it stops that thinking mind from going a bit too into gear, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> 36 seconds. So how long is this one, Sam? Sorry. Oh, sorry. So, um, this is goes for a minute. So we've got three really quick ones. Oh. We've got, only got one one-minute okay. one and two two-minute ones. So I've linked a PDF in the Substack blog, a downloadable one. I wasn't sure, whoops, that's really, I wasn't sure whether I should link that before or after the replay, but anyway, I've done it, I've done it. There's a PDF basically with this slideshow. Uh, two seconds, whoops. Oh, my <laughs> oh well, uh, time's up. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. That looks like an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> enough space. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. so funny. <laughs> so the next two, we get to choose our whichever what you want to do as well. You can choose a different type of warm-up activity for the next one. And the next two images are two-minute ones. So you might want to stay with whatever you've been doing or choose something else. All right. Are we ready? Okay, let's go. I think two minutes feels luxurious after a one-minute one, doesn't it? The colours yes. on that one. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. So all of these images come from Pinterest and, no, they don't. Sorry, they come from Unsplash. So I didn't link, usually I link a Pinterest folder, but today um, it's just in the PDF with all of the people's names who took the photo. <laughs> Sometimes I lose the capacity to talk when I start to concentrate on my painting. I totally yeah. get it. <laughs> I'll tell you, it takes practice. It does, doesn't <laughs> it? Gosh. Isn't it a right brain, left brain thing? Isn't it? So you're supposed to be able to, you know? Yeah. You're in the zone? <laughs> yeah, I think so. When I, It's been a while since I've actually taught practical art as well. Well, not really, but at school, when I first started teaching art in high school, I just had to demonstrate a lot of the time because I couldn't talk and <laughs> demonstrate at the same time. Anyway, mm -hmm. practice. 53 seconds. Oh, my God. What techniques is everybody doing? I'm painting with watercolour and thinking. Me too. I've got a half-inch brush. Yeah. And I'm just kind of going for it here. 
Yeah, good. Julie, when you paint like this, do you put like background sky in first or do you um no at last? I uh, I just yeah, I, this in this instance I'm doing it last, yeah. Yeah. Because it had the lighthouse itself is such a nice color. Yep. I just stuck that in first, yeah. I've also got a hot a hair dryer off to the side. I always mean to do that and I forget. <laughs> Four seconds. Oh, yikes, I'm really out. Okay, time's up, you guys. That's a shame. Wow. <laughs> I just realised I haven't. Mine's just a line drawing, really, and I don't think you can tell that there's even a lighthouse. It looks like an interesting castle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to go back and add in some more colour. <laughs> All right, the next one is our last warm-up drawing, and it's another two-minute one. <gasps> oh, okay. Um, wow, okay. Sort of regretting my decision to go with paint, but never mind, I'm going to stick with it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm finding these Art Nouveau ones take a lot more cleaning of the brush. They're very thick. Yeah. The but they're beautiful. Like it's like a kind of middle ground between gouache and watercolor, I find. Yeah. So fun. I've just bought some. You only can't wait for them to arrive. Oh, good. <laughs> I absolutely adore mine. In fact, that's what I'm using right now. I oh, spray so? them mm -hmm. with water. Yep. Um, so that they are quite, you know, quite wet, quite watercolor ish. Yeah. And, um, okay. And I absolutely love them. That's way too dark. I might actually go, when these are dry, I might actually go back over these later and add the detail in. I know that's not really what you meant to do, but you know what? There's no rules. There's no <laughs> rules in art. I know what it on her. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. There's no rules. Well, you're, you following, the, you're following the two-minute rules now and then later on. Well, those rules yeah. don't apply, do they? It's a whole different, yeah. That's right. So we're up to 43 seconds. Whoops. Trying to get the negative space in is quite a nice way to do it. That's how I'm doing this one here. Scribbles. Yeah. These timed things have been, they're very, um, not how I've really ever painted other than doing warm ups for a painting if you know what I mean, like doing a quick two-minute sketch before I'm actually going to do a proper painting of something. Wow, that was way too much red. Um, but gee whiz, they've improved my drawing. Have they? That's oh, fantastic. Yeah, they're really helpful. Oh, gosh, I didn't get very much of that done. Time's up, you guys. <laughs> oh, goodness. I find, I find doing, like, the arting parties and stuff really helps me see references better. Like I, mm -hmm. I feel like I can pick up more of what I'm looking at quicker and yeah. get it down quicker. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, you notice the shapes more and the line direction and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, our next one is a five minute. I'll just set the timer first. So the next one is a five minute one. It's a beautiful, beautiful image. So this is where it's it's not really warm up. I mean, it's still not really sort of slow sketch. It's it's in between sketch. <laughs> um, I may mute myself and use my hairdryer in this one a little bit. Okay, I'm ready to set the timer. Everyone ready? Yeah. Ready. Right. Let's go. Okay. And yeah, love lighthouses. They're just gorgeous buildings, aren't they? Wow. And these all came from Unsplash, did you say? Yeah, I actually found there was Unsplash is quite handy, actually. Mm -hmm. Um I love Pinterest, but I it's easier to leave the photographer's reference if you're using Unsplash, I think. Although just having that 
the link to the Pinterest folder, I think, is one way to get around the copyright. I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> so, I cross my fingers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal, isn't it? The whole copyright thing. Yeah. Yeah. With Unsplash too, you can um you can create boards on Unsplash and then you can share a link to that. Oh, too. oh that's or a good collections. Idea. I think they call it collections. Oh, I did not know that. This is great. Yeah. That's that would be great. Thank you. That'll yeah. make life lot much easier in terms of keeping all your pictures together. Yeah. Yeah, so how I do this, I take a screenshot from Unsplash. I don't even download it. And then I put that into Canva to put into a PowerPoint presentation. It's There must be quicker ways. Smart. <laughs> I usually drag mine from, um, from Pinterest if I use Pinterest and oh. then just drag them onto an Adobe Illustrator board. Ah. So again, not downloading them, just drag them. But I save so them. So you could probably drag program. it onto. You could drag it into Pro. Could you drag it into Procreate? Yep. And create a board there. Yeah, that yep. might be easier. Oh wow! Cool. Wow. Ah, oh, Procreate's amazing. I've just haven't had it for very long, and I've just I've already got so many files <laughs> open, <laughs> and I've used it every day. Procreate and Canva are my two main things. Oh, Canva is so good. Like, I don't know. I use it for mm. work stuff too. <laughs> okay. For prepping. I do social media management for like uh, freelance. Oh. And that's how I, that's how I prepare social posts. Like I'd use it as I would be using Adobe Illustrator. Yeah. Um, or, or something, but just, it has everything right included in it. So, and then it's easy for exporting and it's a uh, it's good yeah yeah mm -hmm. these programs like you think you know them and then you think oh my goodness they can do this as well and then they can do that and then <laughs> yeah <laughs> like it gets <laughs> I know it's so it's clever incredible. yeah it sure is and just even like talking so the other night um Simone and I were on the phone just talking about Pinterest and we both learnt more about Pinterest because that's another that's a platform that I'm I've really only used it for personal stuff and now I'm starting to understand how it can be really useful for all sorts of things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just organizing the folders how I wanted it to and just little things that you don't realize it's just nice to be able to talk to other people about things isn't it mm. what's nice about the art community I think everybody's so yeah. like generous sharing uh, information yeah you've got a beautiful community in the art hang art hang in the discord server that's a really lovely community yeah whoops it's another so thing to check out <laughs> pardon yeah yeah i think you'd like it simone actually I think you'd really like it. Oh, 26 seconds. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Okay. I thought five minutes was a long time. No, it's well, not. So it's never. <laughs> Compared to one minute. It... <laughs> I right. must just slow down when I'm doing five minutes. I think it's a long time, and so I slow down, and I'm more particular, more careful. I'm not being scribbly at all. Time is up, my friends. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that <clears throat> well, that one does look like a lighthouse this time, at least. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one. How long have we got for the next one? Five minutes, Ooh. Jules. Five minutes. Uh, this one. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we ready? Cool. Okay. Ready. What to ready tackle first? Ready. Where, where are you guys going first? Ocean, sky, Let's land. Start with the lighthouse, I think. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll never make it in my picture. <laughs> True. I'm just going to do a water line. I'm and going then... to sky. Oh, sorry. That's Simon. Hi, Simon. That's Simon. 
he he looked at the computer. Oh, did he? <laughs> so cute. Where's Cedar? Cedar's usually in here, but she's sitting out in the sun. We've had a few days of rain. Smart, smart dog. <laughs> yeah. It's such a beautiful morning, isn't it? It, it really oh. is. Starting to cloud it's over. It's been so miserable, so miserable the last few days. I love rainy days. We get a bit over it over here. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you, Melissa? For us, it's, it's very miserable. Where, where am I? Yeah. I'm in Toronto, Ontario, oh, okay. Canada. <laughs> it's been uh, it's been stormy today, but it's been a nice kind of start to summer this whole week. So we're opposite. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking this morning, oh, we've got all of winter to go <laughs> pretty well. <laughs> I love winter. I love winter. I think it's because I spent so long in the Northern Territory, a bit over summer. I mean, I like summer, but I much prefer winter. Mm. Although I don't think it's been we're up, the, we're up in the mountains and our winters are about um, eight months long or nine months long. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Do you get a lot of snow? Like um, not, well, one, one winter we got like six lots of snow, which for us was a lot. Um so we don't get massive amounts, but it can be totally miserable for like, like you can have a whole week just of miserly, drizzly stuff, you know, like you just don't see the sun, you know, and it's like, oh, yeah. you know, I really, yeah, really miss it. Oh, but what but about- wintertime in Canberra is supposed to be like frost, hard frosts, and then you get these glorious warm sunny days. So it might go from minus eight to 15. Um you know, beautiful, beautiful day. So um, that's often what it's like. So when you get this rainy stuff, it's like, oh, where's my sunshine gone, you know? Anyway. I was born in winter, so I think that's one reason why I love the sunshine. Yesterday in the rain, I took Cedar for a walk. I found these uh, or rediscovered these, their bike tracks in Tarthra and it's just, it was incredible rainforest. It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The smell, mm. so, I don't know if it was honeysuckle. I couldn't quite figure out what the smell was, but mm. it was just stunning. There was nobody else there. Really beautiful. I thought yeah. I almost got lost, actually. <laughs> so it was so, oh. tracks just went all through the bush. <laughs> I didn't realise it was so, um, yeah, it was literally just like being in a rainforest. Sounds mm. beautiful. When we have our little personal. Did you, do one of your, did you do one of your video chats, Sam? No, but I'm going to go back there. Oh, I hope you can't hear the motorbike. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go back there and do one because the bellbirds were um, really loud. They were, they were beautiful, lots of mm. different birds. Oh, mm. gosh. Um, my watercolours are all doing weird things. Yeah. You're right about putting the lighthouse in. Maybe I should have done that first. Right, I better get onto it. <laughs> How much time do we have? Oh, so 58, 57 seconds. Okay. Oh, wow, that went fast. Mm. I say it every time, but it catches me by surprise. Every time I say, <laughs> I'm going to be ready this time. <laughs> I know, and it's really funny. Like if, I have a, if I've been practising these at home and doing things to a timer, I somehow can get more done. Than when I'm in the actual Zoom talking to other people and it's the same amount of time, but yeah. Yeah, but you're concentrating yeah. also on talking and yeah, posting and all the things and Yeah. Ooh, that's not gonna work. You need to give yourself a little bit of a grace there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to practice that one. Um 12 seconds left. I'm not gonna get this in. Whoops, don't even know what color I just used. Uh, time is up. Oh, that is a shame. <laughs> mm, okay, really good reference photos. I can see myself wanting to come back and finish some of these. Actually. Yeah, yeah. 
some inspire you more than others don't they you know they do actually do you know what I think I will come back because I love I do love lighthouses and I love these photos I think this is just going to be I'm putting down my base for to later go back and do it hopefully I'll go first, back first later. layers yep first layers first layers exactly 10 minutes for this next one Ooh. Hey. Oops. all right um let's go i'm gonna still try that same strategy i'm gonna put my sky in first do the negative space Got motorbikes going in the background. You guys can't hear that? Nope. Nope. No. It's good. We live in a semi-rural sort of area with like half acre blocks. And um, I don't know why people think it's okay to have motorbikes. <laughs> anyway, it feels very, oh, oh, I shouldn't say anything. So usually it's really quiet where, where I live and it's, you can hear frogs and birds and, but then sometimes there's lawnmowers and whippersnippers and chainsaws and, you know, rural stuff and motorbikes. So it's usually pretty quiet. I shouldn't complain. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What time is it in Toronto, Melissa? Uh, it's 8 30 p.m okay that's well, that's good I was actually thinking of you when I uh, thought about what time would I would I do this I was thinking I really would love it if you came because I you know <laughs> <laughs> because really it's because of you that I'm even doing this like it's you sort of given me the courage I suppose to get started oh thank you cool. And it's good to know that people across the other side of the world will be able to fit in with a time frame too, Sam. So yeah. You, get, you know. Yeah. I think some people um, have messaged and said that they'd be asleep, so they'll be watching the replay. Yeah, I think too, if you use, I sent you the link for the, or I mentioned Luma. Yes. Yeah. Um, for scheduling the streams and stuff. I think that'll be really helpful for people because then that translates it into their time zones so that they can see oh, that's um, good. what time it is. And it puts it in their calendar and sends reminders. It's so good. Okay. And it's free. Excellent. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank that's you. What, uh, like introvert drawing club. Beth uses that. Um yeah. Blue Shine Art. I don't know if you know her. Like everybody yeah. seems to use it. That's where I learned about it from. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a bit of a learning curve with the technology this last few weeks and uh, it's been great I've really enjoyed it thoroughly thoroughly loved it I just need to balance the technology stuff and being on the computer with exercise and being outside that's where I've fallen down a bit it's not having that much balance you're doing the nature journaling stuff too right yeah yeah that should, that should help getting outside <laughs> yeah I think that's one of my favourite things actually is doing that and eventually the coast cards will come where uh, that's where I'll be using the OBS. Oops. And um, but I, those ones I want to, with the coast cards, I want to paint just from my own references that I've gone out to all these beautiful places because, oh, my goodness, I live in a beautiful area. It's just stunning environment and just take my own photos that I can use. Mm -hmm. I'm forever taking my phone out and taking pictures on walks and parks and things. <laughs> like, I'll paint that later. 
Yeah. And then your phone gets so full. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at, at um, backing. I back up everything to Google Drive and then I immediately delete oh, it yes. off. Oh, that's immediately good. off my yeah. phone. But then when you want it, you got to go, I guess you've got to go through and then, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I mean, you same can at the like, moment with Procreate. Sorry, Google Photos, Google Photos. So you like view it just like you would. Um, yeah. You know, your... in the cloud, is it? Yeah. Okay. Which is also nice because then if I'm looking at my computer, it's there. If I'm looking at my phone, it's there. My iPad, it's there. So that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and again, free for certain amounts of storage, but yeah. Yeah. How do we do? I have access to OneDrive with the education department. So I've been using that recently. That's been really good. Mm -hmm. But I haven't been deleting them from my phone. <laughs> I've just been keeping them there and using the drive. The only thing with using somebody else's um, like through work and stuff like that is like, what happens after <laughs> i was thinking that yeah. last night I'm not about, there anymore <laughs> yeah or if they change their policies and they don't let you use canva for education or onedrive yeah that i was thinking that last night thinking hmm. yeah you need a contingency plan don't you i yeah. do <laughs> i mean the nice thing about that is you can bulk download everything and then you're fine and you just need to find a space for it but Yeah. Um, there's three minutes and 30 seconds left. Oops, that's a bit crooked, never mind. Have you ever used paint sticks like these? No. Super cheap. They're like $4 at the dollar store for a set of 12 of them. And they're so fun. I don't think I've had more fun with anything. I don't even know if we've seen them. Sorry? I wonder where you'd find them here. I just Have you seen them, Julie? Or... Paint I... sticks. Are they acrylic or watercolor? Uh... I don't like know. Wash, wouldn't they? Are they like pens? They're like big markers, like big kind of lipsticky marker things. Um, um, they're, got, like, they dry. I have got so... ones from, sorry, sorry to talk over you. I have got okay. ones from Aldi, um, watercolour oh. sort of brush markers with two different ends. I mean, maybe they're similar. Oh, this sounds like a lipstick thing, did you say? Yeah. Baby, yeah. because it's like a lipstick. Up. Oh, yeah, okay. huh. interesting. Yeah, yeah cool. anything like that. And they dry, like they dry, so you can't reactivate them once it's down. Oh, okay. So then, uh, right, but, right, okay. Well, there you go. But they layer nicely, so you can like create colors and <laughs> things, and yeah. the texture is just so fun. So, so they're like a great big fat crayon, almost. Kind of like a really waxy crayon. Right. Yeah. But like slicker mm, and I don't know. They sound fun. They are so they fun. They do, yeah. Because I guess you'd get a big impact really quickly, wouldn't you? Because they're so big and chunky. <laughs> yep. And you can't be precise with, with it either. So it's like it's a fun challenge. Yeah, that's what I need. Yeah. I'm trying to be too precise. <laughs> too precise. Yeah, Use a bigger right. brush. Use a bigger brush. Yeah, that's right. And can you that's go what, over that's them exactly else? what I've done. I have done all of these with the same one inch brush and uh, color everywhere. Mm. And uh, you know, they're a bit wild, but <laughs> the decision has to be made. Wow, it is <laughs> fun. <laughs> can you go over them, Melissa, with other colors? Um, yeah, other so I layer, I layer the colors. Um, 
to make new colors. Yeah. And then I have, um, I can use pencils on top, sort oh, of. Okay. So uh, I have this one Stabilio or Stabilo one that you can use on glass and metal and paper and plastic oh, and yes. things. So that like glides yeah. over it like nothing. Right. Uh, glass markers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But like a regular, like a polychromos um, pencil uh, two seconds. doesn't quite go the same. Time is up. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't probably didn't remind you. I got right into my painting. I'm definitely too precious. I'm. I need a bigger brush or <laughs> something. <laughs> Getting much down. Never mind. Um. All right. I'll just put this down. Mm. Get the ready for the next one. Oh, I like it. It's so good. Um, I think Faber Castell used to make a thing like that um, called gelatos or gelato sticks. Yeah. Oh. I don't think they I think they're them. similar. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would just go on Amazon, which is not the best place to buy from, I guess, but when you live remote, it's not very much. But these were four ninety nine or four four dollars four dollars yeah. Canadian, which is like no money at all. Yeah, <laughs> it's our dollar stick. Um, well. So what did you call them? Paint paint sticks? They're, is that what you call paint them? Paint sticks. Quick dry paint sticks. Okay. All right. I'm gonna write that down. Like yeah. kids kids' art materials, like they're not like artist quality or anything, oh. even though it says artist quality on the box, but I don't trust it for anything. <laughs> <laughs> for that price. How long have we got for this one, Sam? <laughs> this is a 20 minute one. Okay. I hope I bloody get the lighthouse in this one. <laughs> Interesting. So, um, okay. I like what I'm doing. I'm just not fast enough. Never mind. Okay, are we ready to start? Right. And then yeah. after this, we'll have a five-minute, like, a stretch break. That seems to have gone quite fast. No okay. Idea. Yeah. Uh, let's go. All right. Timer is on. I'm just going to swap some water over here. I'm really enjoying the, all the buildings, Sam. Like I love all the architectural yeah. little details. We haven't done many of those before. This no, we haven't, have we? Have I like the buildings too, actually. Mm. I'm I'm really enjoying sort of painting the space around them first, and it's maybe mm. not the most efficient way to do it, but I'm going to continue with that today just to lay it in. It's interesting learning about different ways of painting and how other people paint, the difference between oil painters and watercolour painters and what do they mm. put down first and how that do they layer. Like I've always painted the background to the foreground first, like put the sky in first and, you know, then put the things over the top. Mm. I recently did a, a thing, last school holidays, I did a painting seascape thing and it was completely different kind of painted around it and I found it really hard to change my the way I've do, I do it. Is that the Queensland guy? Yeah, uh, Rod Moore it was. Um, it was a, it's just a different way of doing things. So what did he say, um, Sam? So he, he puts the sky in last and he paints around it. So if you had trees, he put... The trees in first and then the sky behind oh, yeah. it's sort of painting around all the tree yeah. edges which yeah. I, I, I think I do that mostly too, but yeah. yeah oh see I put the sky in first oh. and then I have the gradation of the sky however I like it and then I put the trees the foliage and stuff over the top so it layers over the top mm. You've already got the sky behind it I, I kind yeah. of felt like I was um oh whoops that didn't work I was kind of felt like I was double doubling up on things but probably because I was new to it. I like my paint. My drawings often have like a hard line around things. So I like that sort of hard, straight, solid line. So then I would paint up to the line sort of thing. To me that, and then I quite like the little white gaps that appear when you don't mm -hmm. quite meet up with things, you know, like um. so. Yeah. What do you usually paint with? What's your material of choice? Mostly I use acrylics and I haven't done much realistic at all, to be honest. This, Sam's actually opened my eyes to the whole realistic thing because I've just been terrified of doing realistic my whole life, basically. I don't know why. Maybe 
Um, my mum was a really good artist and I don't know, I felt like I, the times I went painting with her or whatever, I just, it was all rubbish. So <laughs> I think I gave up on, on because um, she was just good at everything. I mean, she wasn't like critical. I didn't receive any critical feedback, but I just felt in myself that I was no good at it. And um, so then I sort of, and, and my art at school was sort of more, uh, I did it all at school and enjoyed it. It was very good. I was actually, you know, top of my class or whatever. So I thought of myself as being quite good, but I'm never at realistic stuff. And um, so then I did more later on. I started doing doodly type, you know, Zentangle things and then came across and thought, oh, my goodness, these are actually real art. You know, this is this is actually an art form. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll go. <laughs> I can do this. Um, and so I've just been sticking to um, designs and surface pattern stuff and black and white designs and um, big acrylic flowers or something very simplified, sort of folk arty. Um, yeah. I love oh, like the, you know, the, you know, Hungarian embroidery and the uh, sort of Scandinavian style of art. And it's very simple, like folk arty, arty and maybe naive is more of the, is the sort of the style, naive art. Um, mm -hmm. So I haven't really and done uh, any mod, any mod lewis -y. Modern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's really since doing this stuff with Sam that she's got me back into realistic stuff. Oh, I did do last year for the hundred day challenge. I thought, oh, I'll blow it! I'm going to make myself do realistic stuff <laughs> um, because I was so terrified. And I thought, obviously, this is silly, and I need to work on it. And I just did birds, and I just picked any old random photo and just did a bird every day. And I was amazed. Actually, you know, they actually look like birds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, I thought, oh, okay, maybe I'm, I've been labouring under a misapprehension all this time that I'm not actually that bad. <laughs> it's all so, just a matter of observation. It's all about what you can see, like, and breaking yeah. down shapes and the proportions. I, I love realism. Yeah, sorry, I just interrupted, but, yeah. Mm. Oh, no, it's totally fine. Yeah, it's a totally open conversation. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, this is, I found, um, you know, tagging, tagging along with Sam and her stuff being very helpful in terms of confidence and in terms of, you know, just, and even just doing it more regularly, you know, like it just makes such a difference. Yeah. So, um, how you, um, and yeah, practice how you see and, um, yeah, and what you can do and, yeah, I don't know. It's It's all totally logical but like there's so much emotional stuff caught up with art that I think that oftentimes well for me takes over and um yeah you need something to break you out of that whole bind somehow so um yeah so mm. I'd have loved buildings um all my life I've loved drawing buildings but um I just haven't done as many as I would have liked so this is really you know, you get busy with your life and art becomes second to the whole, you know, looking after your kids and, and doing your job and all the rest of it. So, um, um, yeah. Been making anyway. time now. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I think I find I trying new things with other people is like gives confidence or something like that. Like it's not as scary to try something new when you're doing yes. it with other people who are in the same boat. Yeah, that's very true. Very true. Yeah. And I love, love, love seeing how other people interpret things. Like, mm -hmm. like yesterday at Art Hang Party, just seeing how we're all doing the same thing, but everyone's is so different. It's exciting yeah. and it's really inspiring. It's so neat how we can, like, I mean, us here today too, our lighthouses are going to look incredibly different. But yeah. we're all yeah. looking at the same thing. Yeah. I've been doing all the, everything around except for the lighthouses. So hopefully, okay, we've got 12 minutes left. I'm getting the lighthouse into this one. 12 minutes. Okay, good. Sorry, I just had a, someone rang me. I had to call up to oh, that's message them back. Yeah. Didn't notice. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was very loud at this end. <laughs> um, 
One thing I'd like to try with these Zooms, maybe not for the open studio, but maybe more for the other ones that we do, like um, in the paint and draw ones, I'd like to try doing other sorts of activities where like it's not, not I don't want to teach so much, but more guide things like um, where it yeah, is. Well, that, we can all like, learn from yeah. your experience for sure. Just techniques, maybe techniques or more with connecting our movement and our art to the breath and slowing down. And Oh, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Just experiment with a few different things or maybe even some collage or, you know, just, yeah. Sorry. I, I think about something and then I think, oh, no, I'm meant to be painting. And I go back to my painting and I forget what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think I'll keep the open studio this Saturday morning one to time drawing. Sometimes I'll have faster ones and sometimes I'll have slower ones or, or sketchbook spreads or just different things. But then I want to be a little bit more experimental in the the other Saturday that's for the paid subscribers. Mm -hmm. Sounds fun. Yeah, thanks. So 10, 20, 10 minutes and 27 seconds. Okay. Definitely having a limited colour palette is much easier in a lot of ways, isn't it? I think I say that every time. Even decisions you don't have to make, you know. Yeah. You're very quiet today, Jules. Um, well, I'm impressed at you girls' ability to, 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 <laughs> to actually work and, and uh, keep talking. Um, I actually, for this today, with I, I had came in here and there was a bottle of dark blue ink on my uh, table. So I got a few pieces of watercolour paper and just splodged some dark blue ink onto them. So I've got a, so I had a bit of something to work from, you see. So now I'm doing the, some of these um, lighthouses over mm. the, ah. the dark ink. So that's cool. I started yeah. off with the negative space, you know. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, and now I'm sort of working into that. But um, and I'm actually using quite a lot of color, so <laughs> it's all a bit. It'll be beautiful. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> it'll be something. <laughs> I hope it'll look quite like others. Um, I'm not doing a very good job at talking and painting. It's it's not happening. I still need a lot more practice there. I can talk or I can paint. <laughs> anyway. Oops. I think I've got a tip. One of the things I love about working in watercolour mm -hmm. is that if you get a line slightly off, you can actually just watercolour over the top of it and move it. Very, <laughs> Very forgiving. I use a tissue and dab areas away if you've put too much water. I've been using too much water. I think the paper that I've been using, oops, that was the wrong colour. I think the paper that I'm using is not actually watercolour paper either. But I'm using it anyway because I've got heaps of it. <laughs> yeah, I've just got, I'm just using a quite cheap watercolour pad from, which I got from the $2 shop in Eden. Love the two dollar yeah. shops. They're very Me good. Too. Eh? They're yeah. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Um, I'd like to try this with oil paint one day and big, like not this particular image, but I would like to try faster images, like this type of thing with using oil paint. Oh my gosh! Good luck with that. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> terrifying to me. <laughs> well, if you had your paints pre-mix, the colours, maybe it could work. Oops, no. Or just stick with the limited palette, like put four colours out and only use four colours. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I only have oil pastels. I've never used oil paint. I love True. it. Hmm. It's my favorite thing to use. I don't use oil paints because I have reactive dermatitis on my hands. Oh. From, mm. from That is from using chemicals to clean children's tables in a primary school classroom every day for years. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> you know, using spray and wipe or something. I because I, I could I hate sort of them working or eating from these dirty tables. So I always cleaned them myself. Uh but uh, but the chemicals in, in oil paints just too much for me. You can't do it. What about water soluble oils? They're pretty good. Well, you know, yeah, I got some just, of those. Yeah. And you know what? I would advise anyone who doesn't who has a home studio. Uh -huh and doesn't like chemicals to go for them first. Yeah. Try water soluble oils first because uh, they feel different from regular oil paints. They they do. Right. They're not the same, yeah. Uh, they're good. And I had a go at it, but you know, I love watercolor and I have got I've sort of come into groups with acrylics and I feel at the moment like, you know, that's enough. Mm. Yeah. I know sometimes it's a case of having too many things. Like I've too got... many choices, yeah. And, and I've got a home studio, you know. I don't really want to be segueing too much from one medium to another here. Yeah. I think that's part of my problem is I keep jumping around from different things because one of the, you know, when you're a teacher, like yeah, I've just bought all this stuff but haven't had the time to use things and now it's like, okay, now I've got some time. Oh, what do I want to use first? It's almost too much choice. Yeah. Mm. Um, there's five minutes left, you guys. Yeah. I could have stopped after 10 on this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was a bit like that, Melissa, because I, I feel like I was into the speed work, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, that's good to know. So maybe I wasn't sure because I called this slow sketch and I'm thinking, well, the first few are not really slow sketches. So No, I think it's good. It's it's a challenge. It's definitely a challenge for me to like keep working, right? Like I'm so used to like stopping quickly yeah. or perhaps yeah. too soon sometimes. So mm -hmm. it's nice to be able to go in and add like, you know, refine the cliff edges and things like that. That just would have been a big mess before. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree. I I found because I started with um, these blobs of the blue ink, um, it's given me a bit of a, like, it's like I've got an area to fill out. So I'm, I'm instead of just focusing too much on something small like at the lighthouse or I've sort of, you know, gone for doing a whole painting almost, you know, cut to cover this area of, uh, of, um, the blue ink that I've already laid down. Yeah, you're working against so, something. Yeah, so I've got a space to work on, which is is good. No, I like the time. I like the time format that you have set up, Sam. I think it's good. Oh, good. Thanks. I've got a few different and maybe being in the habit of doing the quick ones means that when you get to the long one, you've set down the bones of the painting really quickly because you're sort of used to it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you've got, and then you think, oh, actually now I've got all this time. What am I going to do with it? So then it forces you to think about a whole bunch of other things, but you wouldn't, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Refine a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Uh, mm. Refine and define. Well, yeah, well, I'm definitely appreciating it because I've got <laughs> actually might get a half a picture done this time. Well, uh... <laughs> Thought I'd use colored oh, pen. It's cool. Okay, yeah. blue. Hmm. Is 
So two minutes. Wow. I think I've got green instead of blue. I actually love randomly getting the wrong colour. <laughs> then then having, some, having to make it work, I reckon it's really great. Yes. That's one thing I really like with acrylics. I, I've, I've used very little water and I love the fact that it dries so quickly and um, I don't I don't wash my brush. I normally just use up the paint and then get the next colour and keep going. I mean, unless I want to go from a dark blue to a bright yellow or something, then I will, you know, be a bit more careful. But oftentimes... I'll be, I love mixing all the different colours and then you get these really interesting combinations and um, yeah. just find it's, yeah, as you say, the unexpectedness of it is is very refreshing and cool. There's so much to get used to using at the same time, isn't it? Like if you're using watercolour and you're using a different brush that you don't normally use, like how much water that the brush holds like and how that affects yep. paint. Yep. Mm, mm. Uh, Forty six seconds. Oh, that five minutes went fast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we've got a little sip and stretch after this, a five minute break. Um, I'm going to do some little shoulder rotations because I've realised I literally have been sitting at my desk sitting here, you know, a lot more than I normally do. And my neck has been really sore. So I'm just going to do some little, if you want to join me, you can, or go and get a cup of tea or do whatever you need to do. Oops. Sounds good. Well, I went for a run this morning, so. Good on you. Oh, good girl. With a view to sitting <laughs> here. Oh, time is up. Okay, well. Okay. Okay. All right. So, oh, I'll sip okay. and stretch. I will put the timer on because otherwise it'll be late, late. Um, five minutes. Okay. Actually, yeah. All right. Did you guys, do you want it? Does anyone want to do some stretching with me or do you all want to get a cuppa or? Oh, stretch my shoulders. My shoulders always need stretching. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to try this. This will be a new thing. I'm just going to end this show for a – no, I won't. I'll stop the share for a second. So I'll just do a stop share. There we go. Hello. <laughs> and I'm just like – I just start off with just inhaling and lift your shoulders up to your ears and then just roll them back. Just do it really slowly. Bring your shoulder blades back towards each other so it's almost like you're touching them at the back. So inhale up. Just really slowly, and then as you exhale, bring them down, just rotating them. Just It feels so good. I love that. Another way that you can do this one is just bring my fingertips to my shoulders. If you can, bring your elbows to, to touch, and you can inhale and breathe out. So as I'm doing this, I'm holding my core in, so with draw the navel in towards the spine a little bit. So inhale, and then as you exhale, you can like forward fold a little bit and bring the neck down and then inhale as you lift your neck up and then exhale. So you're sort of doing multi stretching. You're stretching your shoulders, you're stretching your neck and core is activated. So belly button just slightly, pulling it slightly in towards the spine. And then exhale. And then last one for the shoulder bit, this one anyway, is to rotate around like this. So as you're breathing out, you're going down oh, and in. That's crackly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God. <Yes. laughs> My shoulders are doing. Yeah. <laughs> Funny noises. Oh, yeah. I, just, I can feel tingles because I've been so just sitting in one spot for way too long. And if you like to rotate the other way, you can. Just reverse the rotation. I actually, I actually prefer just going this way. I know, just I feel that this helps my posture more when I go backwards. Mm. <laughs> so that's really, yeah, because I always yeah, you've been, you've been backwards. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. I also just like shaking my hands out a lot, just because you get a lot of tension in them. Just give them a really good shape. Just get the fascia moving in your body and the blood flowing. That's really good. 
or feels good. Yeah. yeah, it feels it just feels good. Sometimes I like just jumping up and down and just letting your body go loose. Like those mini tramps are good yeah. for us to really let the body feel like it sort of like recovers, I think. And then also of course the hand stretches. But yeah, any other stretches. I like these ones. Hand ones are always good for artists. Oh, yeah. It feels yeah. really good, doesn't it? Yeah. Um some other ones are where you interlock your fingers and then thumbs, like this, how do I, okay. I've got my right thumb on top and then I ring them and I, I sort of rotate. I'm swapping my thumbs to top to bottom. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. That feels nice. Yeah. Nice for the fingers. So like, it's like you're ringing them out a little bit. Interesting. You have a sort of that. Yeah, and of course the wrist rotations as well. They're really good. It's just even if you just hold your arms out and you can have your thumbs on the outside or on the inside. Oh yes, you can feel it all all up and down your arm there. That's really good. Yeah. 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 They're really good. I like to twist to the side, like if you hold your tail where it is and then yeah. twist. Yeah. Yeah. Like bracing against the table or something. I find that Yeah. Because it's, oh, it's like your whole top of you is like, oh, it's, it's yeah. Just always try to lengthen mm. the spine when you do that. So just imagine that you've got a string pulling you upwards just to protect your spine. Yeah. So to not bend over sort of thing. Yeah, know. just to keep your body nice and straight. I know I'm particularly aware of that now that I have bone, you know. I, I can't do back end of range twisting motions anymore because my bones are fairly fragile. So. Just gotta be careful. Mm, fair enough. Does feel good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, I set the timer, but I forgot to press start. So I don't know. That's probably <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, it's interesting looking at my work. They're nowhere near finished, but I like what I've been doing. Anyway, did mm. has everyone got a water or a drink handy? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to, I'll wait till Julie comes back, but I will. Um, Sorry, I was just getting sorry. fresh water. Oh, thanks, guys. I just realised the chat is there too. So hello. <laughs> um, okay. Um, whoops, I'm getting confused. My computer's getting confused. Okay. I'll go back to my screen share. How many more pictures have we got, Sam? We've got two, two longer ones for this one. Okay, so oh, um, funny noises outside. Okay, so this one is a 15-minute one. And I'll just get the, the timer ready. I wonder. I haven't used my hairdryer once. I'm going to this time. Okay, are we ready? All right. Ready. Yep. Let's go. This is a cute one. I like this, the boat. Mm, yeah. Interesting. All right. Come on, Sammy, get speedy. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to change my water over. My water gets dirty so quickly. Yeah, that's the, what I did just now. It's got fresh water. Oh, uh, yeah. I've got some little, I use the baby food jars. They're so good for the water. And I, um, I've got six of them. That's a good idea. Yeah. What a great idea. Then line up the next one and off you go. Yep. Yep. Okay. One of the best things about this is you get so many good ideas from people. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. You should join the Art Hang Party, Simone. I think you I should. Yeah, so I good. should. <laughs> Yeah, I had a look in your Instagram um, just as we were getting started and followed you. So, <laughs> oh, nice. will, yeah, cool. Mm. I'll leave links down in the YouTube description too if uh, anyone's watching the replay and hasn't, um, doesn't know about Art Hang Party. I'll leave the links in the mm -hmm. description so you can go and check it out because it is so much fun. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let me do my it's a weekly live hour ish long art making session full of fast paced drawing and a lot of fun 
Very I good. Finally, finally is this just on memorized. A Friday, is it? This one. Yeah. Yeah. Every Friday, Friday morning Friday. for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Is it it's 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I think it's is it 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. for you? Uh, it's oh, kind that's of a good time. 9 a.m. for us currently. And then okay. when daylight savings comes back in October, it'll be 10 o'clock, I think. Right, right. Okay. Good time. Okay. Yeah. It's a really nice community too. I laugh so much. Like it's kind of good that <laughs> there's no microphones on. <laughs> <laughs> I just I laughed so much during it. When I first started going, I couldn't I couldn't believe how fast everyone was and how on earth can people type in the chat and paint and, or draw at the same time? It just was beyond me. It's just practice, isn't it? It really yeah, is just practice. It is. You know what I have found about myself doing this? Yeah. Is that after the break, I lose steam a little bit. Ah, oh, I've wondered about that. Uh, well, and, and it's not that the break is bad. It's just that the drawing, the the working is so intense that I think I just get a bit tired and I'm getting a bit tired at that point and then go and get a drink and I sort of, yeah, flag a little bit. You lost, lost your mojo. Yeah. Your flow. You're yeah, I lose my flow a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It doesn't really matter, but yeah. No, I'm I was just... actually thinking this morning, I was wondering if I should have the break in there or not. The break oh, is nice. Yeah. The break's I great, yeah. Okay. I mean, physically. And I love the exercise thing. That was really good. That was really good. Well, I'm the opposite. I feel like, yes, let's go. Let's do three more. Yeah, and I said, <laughs> I thought you said, You've only got two more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I think everyone reacts a bit differently. So we we'll have to okay. just. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I, when I was thinking about having the break, I was specifically thinking of stretches because I, when I'm really painting and I'm not talking to anyone else, like I don't have music on or anything, I get so into what I'm doing that I have no idea what body position I'm in. You know, I don't eat. I forget to mm. eat, although I've been pretty good with that lately. I've been eating a lot. But it's just like I'm so into the act of making that I am not aware of how I'm holding yeah. my posture. And mm. Mm. I have to really focus sure. on how to hold my posture properly now. Yeah, I usually end up like sideways looking at like coming into the side of my sketchbook for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I we just realized the same thing way. because, yeah, <laughs> I just realized the same thing because my table's to the side of my, I thought, well, that's silly, what I just face straight on instead of, you know, I've got an iPad, I could just pull it around here. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to mute myself for a second and use my hairdryer and then I want to get into the colored pencils. Okay, won't be long. How long have you been painting for and doing stuff, um, Melissa? Um, since not really, not all that long. Probably four years now. It was that early oh, pandemic, wow. early pandemic thing. Oh. I was yep. doing a lot of actually, I was doing a lot of di digital illustration and like 2D animation, just like short little um animations and things. Oh, um yeah. and then I really felt the need to use a pen like just like use a pen on paper so then I did a lot of sketching and yeah, I was like oh, right. I want to try I want to try painting so then I bought myself a gouache <laughs> set um oh yes did a hundred day challenge of that and I haven't looked back it's just been like an explosion yeah, okay. of everything yeah <laughs> so were you always good at all the techie stuff and whatever before that or that was just all that's all just something you've learned as you've come along sort of um I've always been good. It seems like, on to the me that like the techie stuff, stuff is seems to me the techie stuff is like more than fifty percent of this art stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. You know? So my my husband is a DJ, and we started oh. um, doing a live stream on Twitch where he would 
DJ. Oh. He plays house music. And then I was drawing along. Um, so it was oh, like kind of like a, it was a fun, it was a fun COVID thing. That's how everything yeah. got started. <laughs> um, and then, um, so he, like with that, we kind of worked out the kinks of live streaming and everything. Like it was a struggle at the beginning, um, like trying to figure everything out and then you need this and then you need that. And then you need this. And then one day yeah. this just stops working because, you know, the wind is blowing yeah. and, um, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was crazy. So yeah. Yeah. No, no, not even just, you know, just things decide to stop working just because. Yeah. Um, so we worked yeah. out a lot of the kinks from that. So I felt like when, when I was ready to start like the arting party and stuff like that, we had all of that worked out. So, um, yeah. it's been that's, pretty that's good that way, but yeah. we trial and errored a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. And you you said um, you're not currently streaming to Twitch at the moment? No, no, I'm just going to focus on YouTube. Um, that's where, like, honestly, 99% of people tune in from. Yeah. Um, and, like, my YouTube is growing quite nicely, and I feel like I just want to focus on that and not have to worry about um, Twitch. Even though I'm still over there, like, listening to music and things like that, Um yeah. There's actually this weekend, there's a whole Twitch event happening in Toronto for the DJ community that we're kind of a part of. Yeah, wow. Um, mm. So that's fun. That's where Ray is tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be doing some live portraits at a, at a part of it. So, oh, how exciting. Um, <laughs> it's so exciting to hear that there's, you know, that like we, I mean, I can't speak for Julie. Oh, I know Julie has, I know. Anyway, we're pretty remote. I'm really remote. There's bush. There's beach. There's bush. There's like not much else. So just hearing that there's all these other things that other, you know, other people can do and access, it's very exciting. Yeah. Mm. And it's really neat. Like we've made legitimate, like good friends, like planning vacations, friends, having people sleep over friends that we've met like across the world um, through Twitch. Wow. So <laughs> it's <laughs> it's lovely it's yeah, lovely yeah. yeah and I can't wait to like start meeting art hang party people too like when <laughs> we travel places yes mm. yeah. you're always welcome here both of you and the dogs <laughs> oh maybe I don't know how the cats would go <laughs> you can bring Simon. Simon's okay Simon's okay with uh with cats Oh, no, your cats, my dog would not be okay with cats, unfortunately. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I do What's really, Australia is really high on my list of places to oh, visit. Oh, sorry, Ty. Yeah. Yes, well, when you Five do, minutes. I'll come. I'll come to visit. I'll come. Yeah. <laughs> I think it sounds exciting meeting all these, you know, people yeah. that you only see online and then you think, well, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, I'll, I will actually probably be in Canada a bit late, <clears throat> later this year. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. One of my Where... daughters lives in BC. Oh, okay. And um, a bit far, bit far from me. But <laughs> well, we're actually thinking of uh, um going. You're on the other side, right? The east yeah. Side. Yeah. Well, I want to go to um Nova Scotia. Mm. Um, and Prince Edward Island. Go we'll see all the lighthouses in person. Yeah, and uh, oh, yeah. so we might actually fly start off by flying to the west coast of Canada this time um, instead of starting on the other side. So we'll yeah. see. I haven't made up my mind yet where we'll go. But Lovely. PEI is wonderful. I had um, an aunt and uncle who lived there, so we used to spend two weeks every summer oh, visiting lovely. them mm. on PEI. It's just wow. It's different. It's so different than anywhere else. Like, is it? Oh wow! Yeah, right. <laughs> like, like a whole province of small town charm, <laughs> um, and the air quality. I don't know. I've never felt so giddy in a place. Like the air is just so pure. Like it yeah. literally like makes you giddy. Like it's it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Nice weird. That's what the air's <laughs> like here. The air's beautiful here. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's my downtown Toronto uh, smog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
I hear the noises in the background of your place and I think, wow, like I wonder if I could ever get used to those noises of sirens and things like on the you honestly tune you learn to tune them out. Like sometimes I don't even yeah. hear that. And... Yeah. I agree. You don't hear it after a while. Yeah. There's certain things that pierce I mean, through, like the streetcar turning around the corner every so often is like nails on a chalkboard, but <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> How many minutes, uh, Sam? Three, three minutes. Okay. Oh, I am not good at drawing fast. Gosh, I'm just well. So into the detail. There's a lot of details in this boat. Aren't they? Yeah, exactly. I think that's. Did you change your brush size? I'm used, actually using pencil now. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> They've gone even smaller in a way. So it just gets scribbly. Yeah. Yeah, pencils are really good, actually. I'm trying to sort of do that sort of thing on Procreate, but I'm just I'm just learning as I'm going because I'm yeah. I haven't done this sort of thing on Procreate. I, I'm very much a hard outline type person and colour in type person, so sort of flat shapes rather than so this is really this is really actually better coming up better than I thought so I made um I made some neocolor two brushes for procreate that mimic the texture of um the Karen Dash neocolors oh wow mm. yeah oh, nice. I can I share it. those yeah oh yeah I can share those um oh cool yeah, they're really fun. Like there's three different three different textures of them. One is like extra waxy and then there's kind of dusty. And so that's I find that's really helpful, like trying to draw fast. Um, mm -hmm. And then other things like turning off the undo button, <laughs> like the double tap to undo. Oh, I, don't, I find like <laughs> you can still undo by using the undo button, but like the double tap, it just um. takes that like instant instant yep. uh, gratification true. delete away mm -hmm. yes yeah. true oh that's a good idea actually yeah one minute um, okay. so where's my lighthouse which layer holy is macaroni that layer there okay um okay yeah I've tried those brushes only mm -hmm. one or two times so yeah they're really good I really like them from the I got them in the discord server yeah yeah they're good I, I, yeah anyway that's a whole other thing is learning how to make your own brushes <laughs> <laughs> start with one that you already like and just uh pop it from there mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah yeah duplicate it no, first always duplicate it. first yeah yeah and then just play yes. duplicate That's go in go into the settings and see what happens okay all right i do oh time is up oh all right i'm just gonna scrunch my layers i've got a wobbly lighthouse mm. <laughs> Oh, I think I like the wobbliness actually. I oh. I think that gives it a lot of character. Yeah. Hmm. Got one more left. And I'm gonna stick with watercolour. The pencils are making me too. They're just sort of fine the pine bits at the end. Okay. Um the next one, I think it is a oh it's a 10 minute one. Okay. Hmm. Oh gosh, okay. This one's similar. This one's similar to the one we did. It is actually, isn't it? Is it the, isn't it the, it's not I the same? It, from a different isn't a different it the same view, one from I a think. Angle? Yeah, it's the I same building, is. yeah. Sorry guys, I didn't even realize yeah. that. It is true. Okay. Oh well. Um, no right. now that's yep. Do something different. Yeah. On the same on the same theme, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the lighthouse first this time. <laughs> All right, the timer is starting now. It's like what Barbell Dressler says about doing the same thing again and again and again, iterate it until you, and then it becomes more and more interesting and different um, as you, um, as you do yeah. each 
each one yeah and you're yeah. Draw drawing from your previous drawing right yes um, but yeah. even even using the same inspiration as well yeah. but doing oh. it again and again and again because she sort of her idea is that um when you first draw, what first comes out is your first initial ideas, the ones on the surface of your mind, if you like, the ones that are most obvious. But as yeah. as you then you do another one and you do another one, she says to do up to five or even ten, um, which is like I don't have enough life to do that. But anyway, um, you know, that the more you do, the more then you move away from that first initial expected mm. sort of reaction. And so then you end up doing something which is, you know, more interesting and um, more amazing, or you know, more unique and original. Yeah. Sort of the more you, the more you look at it, and you see you have different reactions, and you know, like yeah. So, so maybe we could do that one time, Sam. You could actually have the yeah. same reference photo. Yeah. But every time we do it, we have to do it a something different, a different medium, a different, I don't know, different length of time, different. You know, yeah, yeah. we did that's... that at Art Hang Party. It was really fun. We did different times. Oh. So we started okay. 30 seconds, then two minutes, then five minutes. And oh, wow. like it was really, really fun. With the same image? Same image, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. The replays are all there too. You could go and watch the replays. Yeah. Very true. Over and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick of the conversation. <laughs> You're totally volume down. <laughs> <laughs> so do you do much work like client work outside of like in your normal day is that is that your ordinary job is um a designer a yeah 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 mm -hmm. so I wish I could just uh, do you logos or you Logos? Yeah, logos. Like sort of um, logos, websites, social media, oh. post any sort of design, graphic design kind of okay, thing. Cool. Yeah. That does sound like a fun life, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a creative, mm -hmm. a creative life. I did, like, I've done 20 years of marketing, corporate marketing and stuff. Um, that's. Mm what I did and then I was uh I worked I don't know how familiar you are with Sears um, yes yeah, oh yes yes like the big department There's a store. shop here in Australia Sears workwear <laughs> um, oh, yeah so yeah, they went it, bankrupt it just... here <laughs> oh <laughs> they, went, they went bankrupt here in Canada like you know 60 years of or longer um wow. and then just see ya so Ray and I actually both wow. worked there um, my husband and I so we were both laid off at the same time and that was 2018 oh, wow. oh gosh um Ouch. it yeah it was it was a it was a blessing <laughs> yeah <laughs> in you hindsight maybe not at the time <laughs> um it was getting pretty bad and like you could see the mm -hmm. writing on the wall and stuff the only thing is is yeah. that because because they went into um bankruptcy protection there was no severance or anything so oh, Ray uh, was there for 20 years. So he lost out on a whole, uh, on a whole lot of money. Um, that's terrible. And, mm. Yeah. Um, it was good because it was a reset. It was a point in time where we could, um, you know, stop and think about what we wanted to do. Yep. Yep. So yep. He, went, he went back to work um, quite quickly. He had a couple of months off and then he's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to work. But um, I took as long as I could off um, on unemployment and then yep. I did not want to go back to sit in an office I yeah. just couldn't yeah. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't so I became a barista at Starbucks <laughs> for uh, <laughs> nice two, what a great two, three change years, I think yeah and then, that's right great change yeah as I was working at Starbucks I started to um, take on some freelance work from Starbucks customers actually who were like would come in mm. you know for their morning coffees um and then that just kind of was like all right I'll I'll do this I'll be a freelance <laughs> brilliant yeah. so you were, doing, you. you were doing you were doing that sort of graphic design work for Sears though to start with so I was doing marketing more, oh, more marketing. like yeah say it like oh. uh flyer planning and stuff like that but every job that I've had I did a little bit of graphic design um I'm okay. all self-taught on it <laughs> 
um, yeah. but able to work it into my into my jobs and stuff. Oh, so cool. yeah, yeah. So how do you get talking to a Starbucks customer and then suddenly get yourself a job? That's a very interesting. Well. <laughs> get to know people like like, a, oh, yeah, well, in, my, in my other life in my other life I do drawings and and do you need it <laughs> yeah actually it's oh. pretty much that um just like as you're making coffees or they're sitting they're sitting there and you know they get chatting so what do you you know I ask them what they do mm. and then they're like oh well what do you do like how how come you're here like you know a 40 year old yeah. woman as a barista at Starbucks is kind of a you know not not the norm <laughs> um, yeah so then yeah you just start chatting and like yeah I, you know yeah. marketing graphic design that kind of thing and they're like oh I could use you know blah blah, blah. and then you interesting yeah email, email me we'll get together <laughs> mm. yeah it's just a, a lot of networking isn't it it's really just yeah. being around and talking to people to... Mm. says me who's often at home in my studio by myself yeah <laughs> no well, it's harder now it, like it's harder now for me to get clients because I'm not out doing that kind of thing right so I'm just kind of yeah. sitting at home working away but mm. you know clients is always interesting always better so maybe you almost need a, a, an out and out job an outside to, yeah yeah Great. I actually work at a fabric shop here um and uh called spotlight but um it's interesting because, yeah, you're right. I mean, you don't have, like, maybe at a coffee shop you'd have more time, I guess, to talk to people. But even at the counter, uh, um, you know, they, you know, you sort of, there's opportunities to say things sometimes. So, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, then and you get your regulars also, and stuff, right? Like, yes, you get to that's know true. People who come back. Very true. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. These would be regulars, like the people who are in every day and, like, you know, sitting, working in the cafe and stuff like that. It's not like, uh, yeah. you know, somebody just coming in to order a coffee and I never see them again. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I loved being a barista, though. I would do that again. My oldest mm -hmm. daughter was a barista. She supported herself as a being a barista all the way through uh, university when she was doing her. Um, her psychology degrees and she loved the work for many mm -hmm. years absolutely loved it she loved people she loved the work she liked the speed of it you know it was kind of because it's quite fast demanding mm. work isn't it yeah yeah you go it when really you do your job, you go well. home <laughs> don't worry about it yeah that's a nice thing about that's very true mm. and she learned yeah, a lot about walk working out. she said that um this the guy that owned the place um they she hated people they hated people to be waiting too long because it was you know working people coming in for their coffee in this yeah. place and the guy said you've got to do the same movements that you're doing but you have to do them faster and emily said it was well, the way he demonstrated it was revelatory he wasn't being a bully or anything but he said you can just do this faster and um, you will, your body will learn to do it all more quickly. And oh, interesting. Um, mm. it was, and she, she, if you go out with her, she will now say these people here need to learn to do this faster because <laughs> when you've only got three people in there and they're waiting for a coffee, something's wrong, you know, like yeah, they're waiting too long. Um, she absolutely loved it. It suited her personality obviously very well. Um, but she loved that the speed and and that that you could with with relatively simple work, actually you could develop expertise. You know that every work has its level of being good at it, doesn't it? You know nothing is yeah. too trivial mm. not to get better at. You know and to be an expert at being a. I have a huge mm. respect for baristas these days because, and Australia <laughs> has a very well, Australia also has a very strong, good coffee culture. Oh, yeah, you're serious about your coffee. We are, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, 13 no Starbucks. Seconds. No Starbucks. 13, there, right? 13 seconds or eight now. Uh, you know, I decided to go with the pencil for this one, and you'll laugh when you see how much I've managed to do in 10 minutes. <laughs> and the brush uh, and the panic okay. was much more efficient. <laughs> That's it. Time is up. Oh, my oh, God. No. Time is up.
Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So um, I might just actually stop the share. Yeah, that's a better way to do it. Okay. Oh, actually, does anyone want to post to the Facebook group? Or well, you can do that later anyway. Or the I'll chat. do it later, yep. yep. Or do you want to, we'll just hold it up here if you want to do that and I can spotlight mm -hmm. people. Who would like to go first? Any takers? Or do you want me to go first? I can go first. Yeah, you can go first. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what order they were in, so you're not, you might need to correct I'll, me. I'll let Jules go. Yep, I'll let you go first, Julie. You sure? Yep. Yep. Okay, here okay, here I am. All right. Great. Okay. The, is that number one? Uh yes, that's number one. One minute. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's yeah. yeah, that's good for one minute. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and that two? was two minutes. Yep. Beautiful. I like that. Oh great. Oh is this number this. three? Oh wow. Oh yeah. The purple looks good. <laughs> I think it was an I think it was an accident. <laughs> Good accident. A happy accident. Serendipitous. Yes. I love that one. I love Wonderful. that one. Look, oh great. my gosh, I look wild. I haven't seen myself all morning. Doesn't matter. Never been <laughs> run and then. Okay. Um this is one of the oh, ones nice. that had Yeah, the, the blue is this was that this mm. is that I put the acrylic ink on first. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That texture is crazy. Yeah. It's nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice great, yeah. yeah. I love the tonal um, the tonal ranges that you've got in your lighthouses in the buildings. Which one was this? This, this oh, is the beautiful. One yeah, we've good. Just done. Houses are so These bad. are like proper paintings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Will is a beautiful painter. Yeah. Wow. This one? Wow. That's oh, that, awesome. Yeah. Oh, I love that boat. Your shadows. I love your painting mm. so much. <laughs> oh, did I leave this one out? Like, <laughs> this yeah. is an, a faster one. Yeah, that was, uh, I can't remember what that one was. Was that a five yeah. minute one, I think? Now, the funny thing is, that's all the fast speed with the half inch brush. I decided to use my pencil with this one, and that's what I got done in 15 <laughs> minutes. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. And I, <laughs> why do I not use pencil? <laughs> 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 So, yeah, that's the last one. That's me. Lovely. Beautiful. They're so beautiful. Thank you, Julie. Um, yeah, the pencil slows you down a bit, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Terrible, They're yeah. so beautiful. Anyone like to go next? I'll go. Okay. Excellent. All right. I'll just – sometimes my little mouse takes a while to find – to change from the hand to the pointer to be able to spotlight. Here we go. Yeah, there right. we go. Okay, lovely. So I started oh, in my wow. little – Sketchbook. Oh, cute. Oh, yeah. Right I like them. Blind contour drawing. And yep. I love them. Left hand. Do you um, left hand? It's good. Left, left hand, left hand single line for this one here. Yeah, wow. Wow. Oh, that's a good way I to like it. This. Oh, that's dynamic. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah negative that's space. great. Yeah, beautiful. Mm. So from tiny to the biggest sketchbook that I have, which is huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! Oh, I love it. Colors, lovely. Oh, wow. Yeah. So these so are the they're using your paint sticks. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. Using... I can see how the markers work. They're like textures, aren't they? Really? Mm. They're, um, they're kind of like oil pastels, but they're huge. Lip gloss. Yeah, they're, mm. they're a great medium for this. In a way, I find the bigger the better. You just got to get on with it, don't you? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, lovely! They're oh, they're oh, they're it's really stunning. good. Beautiful colors, oh, aren't yeah. they? Just yeah, yeah. Beautiful color choice. Oh, I love the one with all with um all of the cliffs and the colors. That's gorgeous. Yes, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. That's mm. the one that I had the extra ten minutes to work on it. <laughs> ah. Oh yes, yes, it makes a difference. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Oh, wow. Wasn't really it, the good. boat was good for orientating the whole thing, wasn't it? It was excellent. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Mm. I love the shadow. Beautiful. Isn't it lovely? Too. Yeah, well, that was fun. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm happy to go next if you like. Okay, okay. Yep. I oh. don't know how this is going to look because I've only got a screen. So I don't oh, know. right. Okay. Oh, um, okay. That's okay. No, it's can good. You see? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yep. 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 So, yep. Oh, that was like that. the 30 second one or something. Yeah, one minute. Um, one minute. Continuous we'll line, maybe. Yeah. Bring it up a bit. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. cool. I love that. These glass yeah. drawings. They're beautiful. I love oh. that one. It's really cute, that one. It was just like, oh, I just want to finish it, you know, like. <laughs> um, turn that one off. This one didn't get his top on, I'm afraid. His lighthouse top was. I love the shapes, though. That's great. Yeah, beautiful. Um, well, so I love how they're sort of a bit wonky, you know, like. Um, yeah, they're hand-drawn. They're not procreate-drawn sort of thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah. Even though it is on, on obviously on Procreate, but um yeah. I like this one. This one was quite good. Oh, yeah, I, I love that one. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, hand -drawn. Any... it's hard to imagine it's actually digital. Yeah, well but, I'm just yeah. drawing it with the you know, with the ordinary pencil, so I guess mm, yeah. I I was I was sort of cheating to use well not cheating, but you know, using the um straight line guide to do the horizon in some of them. Oh, okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. So you get a straight wow. line. Um, oh, so these were beautiful. That was, that was five minutes. I don't know why that one is so empty because maybe we were talking. Because sometimes we stop. Yeah, I do. I stop <laughs> things yep. talking. <laughs> so then I was determined to get a bit more in. So I got that one. That oh, lovely! One. Oh, that was a beautiful oh, nice. shape. That I one, love wasn't that. It? Yeah. I love that. I love that one. I hope you post them to your mm -hmm. Facebook. I mean, your Instagram thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, sh I will. Okay. Yeah. I'll get rid of oh, and then this was that, that one. And this one I started putting a bit more colour in. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I love brushes. the way you drag the clouds across your lighthouse. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I think that's an accident. I think I meant to d delete that, but I hadn't got around to it. But it's very effective. Oh, no, don't very effective. It. I love it. <laughs> Happy accident. Um, atmospheric. Yeah. <laughs> This is one of the ones I really, I really quite like this one. It, again, it, and then I've, none of them are finished, but. Oh, nice. Um, oh, gee, yeah. that looks great. Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah, beautiful. They're back to front, aren't they? They're back to front, but never mind. Doesn't matter, I don't think. You mean no. in order? Um, and then this is the last one. Again, I I did um, in two layers, so the water is behind the buildings. I just haven't had a chance to oh, wow. delete them. It looks really lively and effective, though. Mm -hmm. I love your um, the yeah. bold drawing. The bold drawing looks terrific. Very effective. Yeah. And I like the water going behind the house, like behind the building. Yeah. There. I like that. Yeah, well, it, again, I think that's a, just me not getting around to having time to delete happy, it. But, happy um, accident. But I like it. Yeah, happy accident. Yeah, that's right. They're great, Simone. I love them so much. I really, really well, love Well, considering them. it's the first time I've done it on Procreate, I'm not, you know, I'm quite happy, actually, you know. Very good. Great, yeah. yeah. Very, very good. Um, okay, I'm going to screen share through. Where am I? Spotlight. Oh, it's down below. Okay. Um, this was my, wait, I don't know. Mine are all out of order too. Never mind. This was that one? Yeah. That one was? Oh, yes, yes. Two minutes, I think. That was right. a two minute one. Um, and I taped them up on board because I had all these, I pretty much had half of them taped up already anyway. See, I missed out so much. <laughs> But mm. I love how it's so little suggests background. the buildings, doesn't it? So little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't still need see it's a lighthouse and a, and a house beside it. Yeah. And the, greedy, the gradients mm. that you have in the sky are so nice. Mm. Yeah, mm. they're really nice. I was trying to get, because uh, I know that, anyway, I was just trying to get the colour because lower down. You know, I could see you going back. I could see you going back with just a very fine felt tip pen. So the mm -hmm. black fine tip pen and putting all the details in over the top of all your beautiful backgrounds, you know. Yeah, mm. I would like to do that actually. And maybe, yeah, you're right, mm. maybe not coloured pencil because coloured pencil gives a weird kind of texture, doesn't it? So I don't know which, them, mm. I don't know which ones they are. It can be good though, coloured pencil. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. So oh, this is where, I like that one. That's really okay. good, Sam. Oh, beautiful. I, I'm a bit just, thank you. <laughs> because I love the photos so much, I was, and the boat, I love boats. I'm just a bit disappointed yeah. that I didn't do watercolour first and then coloured pencil over the top of the watercolour with this one. But anyway, um, and are this they watercolor pencils? Are they watercolor no, pencils? By any a, chance? A mixture oh. of the Caran d'Ache and because you could do watercolor pencils over the top. Yeah. Could do watercolor pencils over the top of your pencils, and make a little bit of a wash, yeah. and then go back again later with another layer. That's a very good idea. I might do that actually. Actually, oh, I love that. that. So, mm. Yeah, beautiful. Thanks. Beautiful. I love that one too. Mm. Oh, somehow I had the timer on. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I love the bold shapes. I really like 
not too much detail actually <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Space. Yeah, because this one then had too much detail, I think. Oh, Sam, that looks great. Oh, that, it's really good. Yeah. Thanks. Again, I could see a thin black line over the top of that, just a few details, just maybe the outline of the lighthouse and a couple of roofs and, you know. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I think, yeah, I could see that happening, but yeah. That's a bit mm. Lots of different things you can go, different directions you yeah. can go with it. Yeah, and that's the last one. That I Lovely. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, Kind of. I love the way the roofs are a single shape. I really like that. It looks very effective. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So that was good. gorgeous. Good. Nice. Just um, how interesting. interesting. Everyone. So fascinating. Yeah. It's good. I'm going to, I think I've learned something. I don't really know what yet. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I find doing this very generative. I always feel like being creative afterwards because yeah. we've, mm. you know you've just mm. it, well there's no time to think it's just a creative process and yeah it's great yeah thank you Sammy mm. oh you're very, very welcome. encouraging thank you for coming everyone thank you for coming to thank Melissa you. and yeah, you're welcome. This, is great. this whole thing honestly I mean <laughs> it is something I thought about a long time ago doing this kind of thing which and I've had the paid zoom version for a long time but I just couldn't get around to it I don't know you just sort of you gave me courage, so thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. Good. Keep it up. It's good. This is you're you're onto something. It's thank great. you. Thank you. Oh, mm. I think I'll get better with practice. Like I'll get faster and I'll get better at the talking and the painting. It's just practice. So yeah, I will keep doing it. Oh, I mean, it is. Commit to a year, for a year and then see what happens in the year, um, and see what happens when I go back to teaching next yeah. term. It's going so, fine as it is, <laughs> Sammy. I love them. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we have uh, a lovely, we get together on Wednesday evenings as well, which, oh, what would that be? So it's quarter Tuesday to 12. Wednesday. If we. Wednesday evening would be Wednesday morning, maybe. Yeah. Depending on the time or middle of the night. Yeah, maybe. I think morning <laughs> is bad for me yeah. when it's morning for you. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Wednesday um, was well, evening though, isn't it? Wednesday evening? So, yeah, would be Wednesday morning, I think. Yeah, so we we do an art club, um, two Wednesdays a month from seven till eight thirty. Although sometimes it goes for a bit longer, <laughs> and that's just where we just do our own thing and chat about art stuff as mm. well. So I can send you some links to that if you're ever available to come. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I'll look up how the time how the time works for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, everybody. Lovely to meet you, Melissa, and uh, you nice too. To see you Simone, and yeah, no. see you next time. Yeah. All right. You time. too. Yeah. I'll get the replay up, but it'll be up by tomorrow anyway. Sometimes it takes a while for my for everything to happen. <laughs> so all good. Um, yeah. All right. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Right. Bye. Bye. Nice to meet you, Melissa. Thanks nice for meet you coming too. along. It's really nice to have an extra another another person along. It's, it is. <laughs> it's yeah. fun. It makes it gives it an extra life to it, doesn't <laughs> it? Having every each individual person has their own uh, yeah. things that they contribute. So it's yeah. it's quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll definitely I'll chase you up and follow you up. Yeah. yeah. I'll be uh, back. I'll be uh, back. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to stop the recording good. and we can keep talking afterwards if you wanted to. I'll just I'll stop the recording now. So I'll say goodbye to anyone who's watching the replay. And yeah, so thank you.